lower body focused kettlebell flow coming at you. So this flow is one clean, one squat, one lunge thruster. Now in your workout, if you are doing the workout within the Touch Moments Company, you are gonna have your reps laid out for you, whether that's doing one, two, three per side, or one, two, three, four, five, or five, four, three, two, one. That will be laid out in your workout. However, I'm gonna show you what it looks like doing one, two, so just so you can get an idea as to how it looks in your body. And I'm gonna show you from the front and from the side so you can see all body angles as to what you want to try to replicate in your own body mechanics, all right? So grab yourself a medium kettlebell, light to medium, and let's get to it because if it's a flow, we're doing practice, we're doing um, movement patterning as well as we are doing a little bit more conditioning, right? So grab something that you can use for the whole time and let's go to work. Starting off, you're gonna do one clean. So bell is between your feet. You're going to hinge yourself back. All of your general rules for your kettlebell work applies here. Eyes down, long spine, sitting back into the hamstrings. You're gonna do one clean. You're gonna do one squat. Turn the toes out, open up the hips a little bit. Inhale, pull, exhale, push. Find a neutral stance, step back, lunge thruster. It's a reverse lunge as you step up, press, pull back in. Wide feet, swap your sides out. One clean, one squat, one lunge thruster. Ooh, let's try that one more time. One lunge thruster. Now, from the sides, you can see what's going on. We're gonna do two on the other side. So, coming down, you're into two cleans. One, two, two squats. Two lunge thrusters. Weighted side steps back and use the power of that back leg to push up. Back down. And other side. So it's gonna be the exact same movement pattern on that second side. You're not gonna be able to see it anyways because I'm away from you. But that is the flow you're gonna play with today. Enjoy, play with it, and focus on mechanics over speed. Speed is not a priority when it comes to a flow like this. It is about finding the right positions for you, making sure you hit your full squat stance rather than being up on your tiptoes and hitting your proper lunge so you're not rounded in or round or leaning into that front, front leg and into your chest, all right? Enjoy your flow, have some fun, and as always, be safe.